Toronto's municipal election is fast approaching and after October 22nd, Toronto City Council here at City Hall is going to look very different with almost half of the wards eliminated as decreed by Doug Ford's government. Incumbent councillors are now battling it out for the fewer seats, some treading into enemy territory trying to win each other's voters. Initially, it it felt like I was walking to somebody else's house and sitting in their living room, and and it felt it felt awkward uh, to be candid with you. Josh Matlow, who's been on council for eight years, won the last election by a landslide, but so did his opponent, Joe Mahevic, who's been a councillor for 27 years. Truly, it has been an emotional roller coaster. At the beginning, it, it, there was a feeling that there was two campaigns, one in your old area where there's lots of love and lots of affection for the local councillor, and then the other side where your name recognition is, is, uh, is very limited. Both are vying to represent Ward 12 Toronto St. Paul's, which largely merges their two former wards. Each has a lot of signs in their old wards, but you can spot some on each other's turf. This shot sums it up. Matlow campaigning on Mehevic's traditional territory, with his former political colleague sign steps away. Both politicians are progressive left-leaning councillors and share many of the same values. Neither wanted to get into mudslinging. Here's how they view things differently, though. On many issues, I, I saw that you were sort of in union. So yeah. I'm wondering, like, if I was a voter, how would I discern? What I would be on, one on, quality? On, uh, uh, policy issues, mm -hmm. um, I would say certainly I've been um, outspoken about transit in a way where, you know, I've been advocating for the relief line and against uh, the uh, one-stop uh, Scarborough subway, and Joe has supported the Scarborough subway. Okay. Uh, that's a substantive policy difference. <laughs> well, uh, it would it would be inac it would be an inaccurate representation to say I support the Scarborough subway. I would have done a lot more work on the crowded nature of the Young Street subway rather than focus on the Scarborough subway. I would have focused on that prioritize that as a key issue. He's a big supporter of backyard chickens. Mm -hmm. um, to be very candid with you, that's just not an issue that I, I, I've been hearing from anyone that, that that's you know, important to them and that's not something that I will work on. Yes, I do support backyard hens. I think they are part of the food, urban foodie movement. It's mm -hmm. about uh, farmers markets. It's about um, uh, community gardens. And yes, hens are a part of that scene. And late this afternoon, Mayor John Tory threw his support behind Joe Mahevic. It's not really a surprise. Tory made Mahevic his poverty reduction advocate, while Josh Matlow has long been a thorn in the mayor's side over his uh, uh, being against the Toronto Scarborough subway extension, which the mayor has been a supporter of.